Title match wrestling exclusive live from StarCast in Vegas. You guys, Barbie Hayden here. I'm representing FlagSports.com, also Title Match Wrestling Network.com. I am here with the legendary Eric Bischoff, of course. As we all know, you didn't even need an intro. Or a name tag. <laughs> or a name tag, or one of these crazy banner things. They have us logging around here, which they're pretty cool. I mean, they do get you like access into things. I don't really know what the things are, but there's stickers that say it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so is there is there anything you got going on today? Are you going to go to the uh, Double or Nothing show here in Vegas? Yeah, I'm going. I'll, I'll, I'll be in. A, I'm going to put on a hat, pair of sunglasses, okay. and I'm going to be up in the cheap seats with the audience. Because that's, for me, that's the best place to get a sense of a show. If you're backstage or while you're producing it, you don't, it's a different kind of energy. You, you experience a different kind of an energy as a producer than a wrestling fan does in the audience. So I want to see what it's like out in the audience. Okay, because that's exactly the approach I'm taking. I'm sitting in the audience as well. And I was just like, I actually was explaining this to somebody yesterday because they didn't understand. Um, I think it might have been a fan, actually, who was, who was asking me about this. They said, oh, you're going to be backstage. And I was like... No, I became a wrestler because I was a fan first. So like, I want to be in the audience. I want to just like relax, have a beer, watch the show, and really enjoy it for, you know, what it is, which is nice. I think I think you can kind of. So you and I sound like we enjoy a wrestling <laughs> event for much the same reason. So I don't know if I bring my own beer, maybe we can enjoy it together. <laughs> That'd be perfect. There yeah, I'll go. figure out where my seats are. I mean, if they're if they're not in the nosebleeds with you, I'll I'll bring you to my you know VIP section down by. No, just kidding. <laughs> I have no idea where my seats what are. In Vegas stays in Vegas, <laughs> except for when it's on camera. Right, exactly. So shut this off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so do you have anything coming up after this? Or are you just kind of like riding a wave, or do you have set goals, or anything you know you have going on? Well, I've been involved in a lot of different things. I don't know if you read about the uh, Hulk Hogan biopic that's coming out on Netflix. Yes. I'm yeah. I'm producing that. Um, oh, okay, big wig. I I'm sorry. I, no, that's all right. I didn't I didn't realize. <laughs> So I'll, I'll be busy with that. You know, I'm busy with the podcast. I'm doing some live tours this summer. I'm doing uh, 30 shows and 30 nights. It's called the Iron Man Tour. I'm starting in Vancouver, British Columbia, and, Columbia, and working my way across Canada in a motorhome um, all the way to Prince Edward Island and doing one show every night. So that'll be fun. Are you retiring immediately after that? Because you might sleep for the next 30 days. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I look at it as an adventure. You know, I love road trips, and all I'm going to do is stop in some town every night and have a couple beers and talk to some wrestling fans and go on to the next town. Okay, perfect. So I was going to ask that. Is that the type of tour it's going to be? Is it just like a live audience type, like, interaction, or are you doing, like, a yeah, state of comedy? Much, or? It, it's a little bit of both. It's okay. much like our 83 Weeks Live show mm -hmm. where, you know, the first 20 minutes or 25 minutes of it is kind of a little bit of, I don't want to say stand-up comedy because I'm not a comedian, but the wrestling business is inherently funny, and the characters in it are inherently funny, and the stories that you know we all have are inherently funny. So we can get the audience laughing and having a great time without necessarily having to be a comedian. And then we do about 45 minutes or an hour of Q&A oh, nice. with the audience, and then at the end, for 10 or 15 minutes, I'll wrap it up with a really interesting story uh, okay. that hopefully will make people think. And then it's off to the next town. I was saying, we might even make one of those stories tonight. We have no idea because we are here in Vegas, which is already just a wild city in general. Um, is there anywhere that people can go and like purchase tickets for this? Or is it just you show up at the door and you get in? Uh, no, the, the tickets will be available uh, throughout Canada. There's going to be a website. And we'll announce that pretty soon on social okay. media. But Okay, so can, can you tell people what the what your social medias are, like those ads? Sure. Uh, really, I only use Twitter. And you can find me at eBischoff. Oh, okay, well, that's so, you're like me. It's Barbie Hayden across everything because I'm like, I can't remember anything else. Mm. <laughs> like, there's no way I can remember like a number or like a weird letter or a nickname. No, like, the worst thing is when you think you're being really smart and you have to change a password or some other access and you get really creative and then three days later you got to do it all over again because you can't remember because it was too creative. I'm guilty of that all the time. <laughs> I, was, I did that recently, and I had to change my password so many times. They like they ended up calling me as a security thing, and they were like, "Is this you?" And I was like, "Yes, I'm just that dumb that I can't <laughs> remember my own password that I made up and I thought of." Yeah, it's uh, it's a common problem. It is. I it's I think I think too many bumps to the head. You know, just after years, you just kind of forget everything and just kind of move day to day. <laughs> Hope for the best. Uh, so, is there anything else that you got going on? Anything you want to you know tell anybody about? Nope. We covered it. 
Perfect. Okay, just hanging out after that. So got the 30 days. And when does that actually start? When does that July course start? July 27th in Vancouver. Okay, July 27th. Perfect. So thank you seriously so much. All right. Thank and hopefully you. you'll see you tonight at the show. Uh, you guys, again, this is day three at StarCast. We have Eric Bischoff here. Obviously, you know who this man is. He does have the documentary coming out over Hulk Hogan on Netflix. So definitely check that out. And his tour in Canada. He said he will announce that soon. So stay tuned for FlagSports.com and TitleMatchWrestlingNetwork.com. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out our great sponsors, Flag Sports and Walker, Texas Lawyer.